This is how I am going to treat his motion restrictions. I'm going to capture the fifth metatarsal, so I follow it out to that big tubercle. I'm going to clasp the entire structure, stabilize, uh, stabilize his foot, okay, and I'm going to draw it anteriorly. I'm going to oscillate that 30 times towards the little toe, okay? After that, I'm going to stabilize, stabilize the tibia and the fibula, and I'm going to traction the heel downward. I'm going to traction the calcaneus away from the talus and, okay, get distraction that joint, and then I'm going to rotate it outward, and I'm going to oscillate that 30 times. And I'm also going to maintain that for two minutes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, an important concept of treating a group pattern of movement dysfunction is that once you restore motion in one or two directions, you must go back and reevaluate everything. Right. Okay? I submit that maybe at that point the movement in the fibula will change. Maybe it'll become stuck in one direction, I don't know, but I will retest cuboid, I will retest fibula, I'll retest um, midfoot mobility, which is really good, surprisingly. Um, I'll retest uh, fibular head as well. All right, so that's how I'm going to treat that. The, um, the tight hip rotators, I find this to be extremely effective. I use a piece of two inch by four inch by eight inch foam. We, you can buy that from us or you can buy it from Foam America. And uh, it gives a little bit so it becomes comfortable. It yields to the shape of the body. And what I do is I place that, I find the trochanter, okay? And I place it right, the middle is right beneath the trochanter. It captures all of the external rotators of the hip. Okay, and I have the client lay on that for five minutes. I submit that after we restore normal movement, where it is absent, that inhibition on muscle function will be improved. I submit that your abductor will then grade five out of five strength, and that your internal rotation of the hip will grade five out of five strength as well. Okay? After that, I'm going to have you lie on your left side, and I'm going to take two firm pillows. How do I do that okay. now? Yeah, go ahead and step down over there. Walk over there. So I'll, I'll get on this. Um, I check the camera angle. All right. So we want to restore left to right side glide of the pelvis. So we use two firm pillows, and I'll have you lay on your side, on those pillows, on the pelvis. And make sure your hips are in slight extension. And you're going to lay on that for five minutes. And that comprises the treatment. And as a physical therapist, I'm sure you know how to work on increasing endurance of your hip rotators mm -hmm. and endurance of your hip abductors. And I think that would be important. And I would, of course, encourage you to continue working on strengthening of the foot and ankle and restoring normal balance and proprioception. Absolutely. Okay? So I won't demonstrate those, but uh, the viewer can certainly look up YouTube videos on, on treating the ankle. Okay? And I submit that your rib will naturally release and that the upper cervical rotation will also release when we restore balance and normal mo mobility below. So I'll stop filming now, I'll treat you, and then we'll film your response to treatment.